I'm here at Edith Morley Park in Campbell. It is an event, it is a memorial for the good Dr. Walt McCall. Um, you guys might remember I did a series of articles about him for the Campbell Express. Um, it was kind of a shock that he passed, but um, as you can see behind me, there's a bunch of people and a bunch of dogs here in a memorial service to honor him and talk about him and, you know, uh, cherish his memory or the memory of him. He did have a good memory, though. Um, <laughs> so later today, at the end of this uh, post, I'll give you guys the dates, if you're interested, um, the dates of the issues online of the Campbell Express, so you can go to the Campbell Express online and read the articles about the good doctor who we are here um, celebrating today, Dr. McCall. So I'm still here at the memorial. And I just wanted to show you somebody brought uh, the doctor's sign that was outside the clinic. So check it out. Campbell Vet Clinic. Walter A. McCall. Yep, he's a good guy. Alright, more later. Alright, so I never did, uh, was able to find all the articles from Dr. McCall, or about Dr. McCall. Also, though, I do want to include in that, he actually... After my series, he actually had a couple of articles published. So I think that'll be cool to include in the um, little packet of articles. So I'll be back to that, folks. In the meantime, it just made me realize I've been writing for this paper for, you know, three years now. And I really need to... Ca and I've been writing consistently, for the most part, weekly. There have been an issue or two here where I missed for whatever reason, or Sally didn't publish what I had sent her, or whatever, and then there have been some brief hiatuses uh, around school, um, but I'll be able to figure those out, but I found a couple, my library article and my uh, last car show article, so I'll, I'll get to all that down and provide it to whoever is interested. Uh, in the meantime, I got a couple of movies from... Uh, the libraries, speaking of the libraries, yeah, Monsters, Inc., because I went to see Monsters University and thought it was very great. Uh, and then I got uh, Django Unchained, which I hear is like a nice family film. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I almost didn't care about this, but I quit caring about Tarantino a long time ago. Um, Kill Bill, they were pretty good, but... When he came out with the Unglorious Bastard, I was like, dude, you have got it. Um, so I'm going to watch that. <clears throat> Real hot here, kids. Let me tell you. Real hot. Um, oh, yeah. So I wore my Mr. Rogers shirt that got me into a lot of interesting conversations at the memorial. Here's a funny thing. I got mostly black shirts. And when it's hot, really hot out, yeah, you know. In my later years, I actually do this smart thing, and I wear lighter clothes. The thing is, all my white shirts are kind of goofy. The least goofy among them being Mouse Guard, which still, it's a little mouse with a cape and a sword. So there's Mouse Guard, there's the Mr. Rogers one, then there's my uh, Love Thy Foundry one, which everybody's like, what's going on there? And then there's my uh, This Is My Sweet Dog one. That has Izmi on it. So all my white shirts are pretty darn goofy. Um, debating if I'm going to take a bath or not. A nice, comfy, relaxing bath. And read some more time-traveling blues in the city of the Watcha. Um, um, this is the last week of the show, so I'm trying to get Chris O'Dell and uh, Cabe and Jen and Avery down there, Ron, whoever else I can wrangle into it. I guess i got to first decide with Chris and Maria, since they live in Felton, when they're coming, and then I'll wrangle everybody else for them. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we had an appetizer dinner. We had buffalo wings, nachos, and sliders. <laughs> when it's hot, I'm not allowed to cook, so you know, that's how it goes. All right, so uh, I think it's time for a bath. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. School stuff tomorrow. Talk to you from there.